Thank you very much and for the introduction and good afternoon everybody. It's absolutely my pleasure to be here um, at this meeting and to talk about education for innovation and sustainable development. I think we all know, and as the previous speaker said, um, education and skills really will be the drivers of development. They are the drivers of development um, and really foundational for all the other SDGs to be successful. So, I just want to talk about some of the thinking that we have inside IBM. And I'm here representing <coughs> IBM on the one hand, <coughs> excuse me, but also um, CSR Europe, um, which is the network that you've heard about that we're all working together on this agenda. Now, the picture there is of um, IBM CEO. She was talking last week at a big tech conference in Paris. Um, and she was talking absolutely on this, on this topic, uh, skills, um, and what the future um, is going to be about. Um, she had good news. She, she was saying, look, there's a huge opportunity to develop economies um, and uh, to create jobs. And why is, why is now the moment? Well, you know, when we talk about Industry 4.0, we've talked about a point where technologies have really come together in a way that's driving innovation, that's driving new opportunities. And um, as we see technology everywhere, we're seeing, um, you know, the previous speaker spoke about big data, um, the way that that can be applied to drive intelligence, and the way that it can be used to build actually more sustainable and better services, and actually to spread economic growth. So what we're seeing at the moment across all industries, it doesn't matter whether it's agriculture or medicine, we're seeing the opportunity to integrate data and to use that to build um, um, to build new growth and to build the sustainability of services. So what's happening at the same time, as I think we're all aware, is the arrival of artificial intelligence and um, it becoming very much integrated uh, with big data. And uh, this is a real opportunity um, to increase the amount of learning there is and to use that in appropriate ways uh, to really help drive economic growth. So. What we, what we believe artificial intelligence can do is enable human beings to operate at a higher level. It's all about what we say, people and machines, not machines or people. It's about working together. Now, one of the things that our CEO said last week was, skills will be the number one issue of our time. They already are the number one issue of our time. What Industry 4.0 is heralding is a complete paradigm shift in the kinds of skills that are needed to deliver jobs. And what we're seeing around the world is a skills gap, that there are many jobs which require high-level skills, and particularly the integration of technology into different aspects that are not being filled properly. And that's, that um, gap, um, is because this, you know, we don't, we're not producing skills at the right level, and um, we don't have the kind of professional workplace skills embedded in our education system that will enable um, the kinds of performance that we need. So what we talk about at IBM um, um, is a new era of partnership for business to work together with industries to look at the, the new paradigm and how we can, how we can deliver that. And we talk, um, we call these new jobs, uh, new collar jobs. And for those of you who are perhaps familiar with these concepts from, uh, uh, from sociology, um, white collar jobs, the professional jobs, blue collar jobs are the more traditional trades and so on. What this opportunity is, is some middle level jobs, which really do lead to a good career, really do create good opportunities um, for individuals to have a good uh, livelihood, but also um, for the economies to grow. So um, when we're looking at um, uh, skills being uh, the new number one, then we're also seeing there's a real need for, um, for new kinds of uh, partnership. And collaboration has to be at the core of this. Why? Because I think we can, it's no longer sustainable to say education does one thing and business does another. We absolutely have to, in this fast pace that, the, um, uh, that society is moving at, we have to bring them together and make sure there's a synergy. 
And that requires some fundamental change. It's, it's not an add-on, it's not a nice to, it's fundamental change. We've got to drive change, both in the um, ways that government integrate um, all the aspects of education. At the moment, we often have schools, we have universities, we have VET, they're all separate, they're all separately funded, they're all separately independent. Um, and we've really, really got to bring that together and say so we need, a, we need a, an integrated system and we need to integrate business with that as well. I was absolutely delighted with CSR Europe, and CSR Hellas has been very much part of that, that we had a big initiative a couple of years ago to focus on this issue, particularly of youth, um, and how youth are prepared for these new opportunities, and to look in Europe at the challenge we had on the growing level of um, a number of young people who were unemployed. And at the core of the Pact for Youth was this whole mission to put business and um, and education together um, as the new norm, that it's not an add-on, it's an integrated, uh, integrated approach. And we also focused a lot on STEM skills, science, technology, engineering, and maths. Um, and um, it's no longer, oh, I can't do maths, I've got to give it up. Everybody needs to learn maths and to integrate it into their skill set as they go forward. And these are really our foundational for everybody as we move into um, this new era. And it will move quickly, it'll continue to move quickly, and that's why it needs to be partnership. It's not a one-off job, it's a continuing job. So we really have to keep um, doing that. So um, one of the introduction, the, um, one of the ways that IBM has been addressing this is what we call PTAC. And PTAC is about a continuous pathway from classroom to career. How are we doing that? We're doing that by integrating um, the, uh, the, the school's education with a higher level qualification. And rather than saying you do one and then you do the other, we're, we're creating a pathway that really integrates much more of work-based skills, um, work-based learning, um, and employers bringing in uh, their knowledge about what kind of skills are needed um, to integrate into the school system. So this has been um, a program that we have um, worked on in the US um, where the system was quite weak and there were hundreds of thousands of jobs that were not being filled. Um, and we've worked with um, uh, the early college high school model which really brings in um, this new learning at an earlier stage. Um, and one of the really important points that I think um, I'd like everybody to think about with this is it's been incredibly successful in enabling social mobility. And if we look at the sustainability goals, we look at how we want to raise everybody, everybody's life chances, everybody's um, uh, standard of living, then something that will enable social mobility is really, really important. So we focus these schools in areas where there's um, um, where populations are poorer, um, where children don't necessarily have the aspirations, and um, we help them to succeed by giving them this line of sight into jobs. Jobs with whom? Jobs with IBM, jobs with the top companies, okay? It's, re it's real. And um, I'm absolutely delighted that um, we now have um, 120 of these schools across the US, not all IBM. We've, we've got 400 other businesses involved. You'll see there um, President Obama uh, really championed this movement. Um, he, uh, he, he could see the opportunity that it, um, that it delivered, um, and it's really important. So what's IBM doing? We're scaling this up. We've got really big global ambitions. We've opened 15 schools in Australia. Um, we've opened some schools in Morocco um, with our partners, with the government. It's not us, it's, it's partners. And um, we're um, working very hard here in Europe um, to bring this model to um, help this new pathway directly to careers. And when our CEO was talking last week in France, she was having a deep discussion with Monsieur Macron and with his uh, um, education minister to look at how it could add some value there. So um, I hope that um, this quick overview will give you a sense of what we might be doing. And I'm sure we'll have plenty of time for discussion. Thank you very much.